So, and you have several of them. I have as who was who were supposed to have uh, held the election within 60 days. Some way, somehow, the university was on recess. MPP wanted the university students to come back. So the, the Electoral Commission then fixes the, 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 the date beyond 70 days. We went to court to challenge it. The court never ruled until the election was over. So what type of, <laughs> what type of system are we running? So if we now stumble on a document which says that these appointments are made for this purpose, are we not entitled to believe it? Well, if you win the election. We are entitled to believe it. If, you, you may decide not to believe it. That's your problem. But I believe that. If, if you win the election, <laughs> this is the same judiciary that you would have to work with. What do you do if this is we, what you believe? We, ha we haven't come there yet when we reach there. But Every problem has its solution. When we get there, we, we get to the bridge, we'll cross it. But you're campaigning to win elections. And yes. you, you, it's possible you might win. This judiciary we is not going winning. anywhere. Yes. What would you do? I'm saying that let us win the election first. <laughs> but you, you don't have a plan to what you do, the judiciary? Yeah? Let us win the election first. You don't share the meat before you go for hunting. Suffice so to say you have a plan. Mm -hmm. Let us win the elections. You were making a substantive point before we digress into this area about what do you do with the overtures to you and to the MPP to sit for peace. You started by talking about, yes, you're admitting, you're coming to you to sign declarations, then you're just mm -hmm. recounting mm -hmm. the evidence in the mm -hmm. past. Mm -hmm. Are you at the point yet where you're ready to sign a declaration? The declaration don't mean anything to a us. A peace declaration. Mm -hmm. it, it doesn't mean anything to you. It doesn't mean anything to us because all previous declarations have not been adhered to and those declarations have not solved any problem. If you allow uh, violence to be brewed. You have violence, whether you sign declaration <laughs> or not. And so that is why for more than a year ago, I started uh, talking about the need for us to remove the, 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 the building blocks for a violent elections. So at any stage, when something is happening, I call on those who in future will call us to sign declarations to speak up so that we stop this particular thing from happening. Otherwise, if you allow all those things to, uh, to build up, and you say that, let us go and play peace football match. Let us sign declaration. Let us do this with the hope that we will get a peaceful election. Peaceful election will not happen. Because we did all this in 2020. All this and more in 2020. Uh, Council of State, uh, Peace Council, everybody was involved. Signing declarations left, right, center. The 2020 election turned out to be the most violent elections in the whole of the uh, Fourth Republic. So this year, not so it tells you that Signing or no signing is not the issue. What we have to uh, uh, talk about is the building blocks that will create the violence.